All right, and we want to go back now to that breaking news that's coming out of Boston. Two explosions went off this afternoon near the finish line of the Boston Marathon. It happened at around 3 p.m., and we just got word from the police commissioner that there was another explosion outside of the JFK Library in the Boston area as well. Now, here's some new video that we just got into the RT newsroom. The Boston Police Department tweeted just a short time ago that two people are dead and at least 64 more are injured. The 64 injured number comes from the Boston Herald. Those numbers are expected to change. We here at RT are having a number of videos, tweets, and whatnot come in to tell us more about this incident. Now, the Boston Marathon is something that is somewhat of a tradition inside of Boston. It is a huge tradition. So obviously, to have an explosion like this, um, it affected both the runners as well as uh, the spectators. And we have RT correspondent uh, Marina Portnaya bringing us the very latest. Marina, what are you hearing? Uh, well, what we're hearing right now, I mean, obviously the story is evolving minute by minute. We do know that uh, the Boston uh, Police Commissioner gave a, a press conference uh, just recently uh, asking everyone to stay indoors. We know that cell phone service has been shut down. Now, t this would be to prevent any remote detonations of explosives that uh, the police have not yet found. We know that there was those two uh, explosives that went off by the finish line of the marathon. Then there was another blast uh, at the the JFK library that now the Boston police say they are not sure if it's related to the two original blasts, but they are treating it as if it is related. U.S. President Barack Obama has now instructed uh, government officials to aid Boston, uh, Boston officials as, as they Marina, need uh, any support. I am going to pause your story yes. right there. We just got some very shocking video coming in. You can actually hear the explosions. Now, this video is from the Boston Globe. Let's bring that video up and we'll show you and then uh, we'll come back out and speak with you, Marina. So as you heard there, two distinct explosions. Obviously, the JK, JFK Library one was a little bit farther away. Marina, talk to me more about what have you heard about these explosions at the JFK uh, Library? Well, uh, according to uh, police, they do not know if the, the explosions at the JFK Library is related to the ones taking place uh, that took place uh, uh, at the, the finish line of the Boston Marathon, the one we just saw a video of uh, on the screens. We saw that the debris flying in one of the runners collapsing uh, to the ground. Um, what we do know, now this is according to the New York Post, that a 20-year-old Saudi national is now in custody uh, and is being treated as a suspect in connection to the uh, the explosives that took place by the finish line of the Boston Marathon. Uh, we're still waiting to get that confirmed, but that is according uh, to the New York Post. Other news outlets are also reporting that there is video, uh, surveillance video of a man uh, walking into the scene of where the bombs went off 20 minutes before they exploded with uh, a backpack. Um, so, uh, of course, this is a huge puzzle that needs to be pieced together. And, uh, of course, the, the, the saddest part of it is that you have have uh, so many innocent victims that have been caught in this scenario. We're talking about some 20, uh, you know, 27,000 people that were participating in this marathon that traveled from all over the world. Tens of thousands out in the streets watching as spectators, uh, cheering them on. Uh, we had police officers in the streets, EMS workers in the streets, news crews in the streets, and then these explosions go off. And if you look at that video, you see the white poofs of smoke in the sky, uh, everybody running to save their lives, scared, extremely scared. Uh, we saw some video uh, of, of, you know, blood really uh, soaking into the concrete in certain parts of the area. Some images that have been posted online by news outlets and even on Twitter uh, show uh, some victims uh, with some limbs gone. So and there have been uh, some severe injuries from this, this, sad, uh, this sad day uh, taking place in the midst of the Boston a marathon. And Marina, I was actually listening in to the press conference that they were holding. They said that they are in the process of securing the area and obviously within the, all the chaos, people were leaving their bags behind. So they're trying to determine what is just an innocent person's bag versus what is a, a potential bomb or another bomb. But beyond Boston, the country is on high alert. I was reporting earlier about the fact that the cap uh, that uh, the White House is shut down. What are you hearing uh, both in New York and across the country? 
That's right. Uh, as you as you said, uh, the White House and, the, and in the surrounding area, there's essentially been a lockdown to 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 prevent any kind of suspicious behavior to keep uh, anyone that's not unfamiliar uh, away from the White House. Um, what we also do know is the New York City Police Department, shortly after uh, these events took place uh, in in Boston, uh, immediately said that the city is on high alert and that security is being beefed up. Counterterrorism teams have been now deployed to New York City landmarks. And uh, some trucks have been stationed out uh, outside of certain um, certain hotels. Uh, you know, our office is located uh, on the east side of, of Midtown Manhattan. And, and in the past two hours, I've heard uh, many sirens going back and forth uh, all over the city. So uh, clearly, this has had a, a tremendous effect on the way that New York City Police Department is responding. Um, that's not surprising. You know, the, you know, the, this is where the September 11th attacks took place, uh, or this the center of it. Um, and those those. Uh, scars are deep, uh, and uh, you don't have to give uh, the New York City Police Department a huge reason to, to beef up security. And in response to what some are speculating looks like a terrorist attack in Boston, the New York City Police Department is responding full force, beefing up security. And Marina, we do know that uh, there's been a lot of uh, confusion, obviously, and chaos going on in Boston. Uh, at first, it was questions over whether this was just a, a, some type of natural disaster. Um, how was this information being disseminated and what when are we going to find out more Look, I have to, you know, you have to give it some time. Um, everybody wants to know everything instantly, of course, with social media, with 24-hour news. But this, this is a, an incident, an event that is unfolding, and the police are trying to investigate and figure out themselves what is taking place. They, they shut down cell, cell phone service there to make sure that um, and no explosives would go off if they haven't even found all of the explosives. Um, if, if, you know, from from a one standpoint, and some experts, security experts, have say this looks like something. Uh, that was strategically planned. This doesn't look like a man-made disaster. It doesn't look like a, a manhole uh, cover exploded. Uh, the, if you look at, at, at the scene, uh, it looks like a bomb went off. And then it looks like it was coordinated. Uh, now, uh, the police say they found some explosives that uh, that they detonated on their own or they're trying to, to take apart. Um, maybe those are explosives that were meant to go off and didn't go off. Uh, you know, I am not an investigator. I'm not there. But this clearly uh, doesn't look like a natural disaster, I could tell you that much. And the way in which uh, Washington is responding and New York City is responding uh, just underscores how serious of an event this is. And of course, uh, there are so many that have been injured, so many with critical injuries, so many uh, that, uh, you know, are, well, at least two that have lost their lives, but that Absolutely. number may grow. RT correspondent uh, Marina Poranaya, I'm sure you're going to be following this. Please keep us updated with the latest.